Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be reviewing the Beauty Creations Flawless Stay Powder Foundation. This claim, these are the claims that it claims to do. So it says buildable coverage, velvet matte finish, multi-use, long wear, and oil free. This does have talc and mica, so if you are sensitive to talc, I do not recommend you trying this powder out because it probably will break you out. All right, you guys, so I do want to announce the winner for this past giveaway. Congratulations to Victoria Coronado. You did win the giveaway, girl. So thank you for watching the video all the way through. Thank you for giving the video a thumbs up and just continuing to support my channel. I really hope that you enjoy all the goodies that you get. My next video, I will be doing a giveaway, so make sure that you stay tuned on that for that video. If you would like to see me apply the powder, see how it goes on my skin and hear my thoughts on it then just go ahead and keep on watching this video all right you guys so today we're going to be trying out the new beauty creations flawless day the flawless day powder foundation i got three shades these are the three shades that i did get and I'm just going to see which one is like closest to my skin tone. So I'm trying to see if it'll match like my neck. Mm. In the pan it looks like it would. But let me go with 8. I think FSP uh, 5.0 is going to be too light for me. So I'll probably end up just giving it to my mom. This is 8, shade 8. So, I don't know. I feel like this one, FSP 7.0, I feel like this is going to be the closest to my skin tone. Because, I don't know. We'll try out this one. And I'm going to try it with the little applicator that it comes with. So that's what that looks like. Yeah, I think this one, it's going to work. Okay. It's a little bit on the pink side. I feel like pink is peeking through for sure. Okay, I'm going to use this one, and we're going to put the other one away. We'll save these for, well, I'll just give these to somebody else. Hopefully they, I'm going to give one to my mom for sure. The FSP 5.0, I'm going to give it to my mom. My mom's light complected, so I'm pretty sure that this color is going to fit her skin. Okay, um, let me conceal my under eyes real quick just because I haven't concealed and this is a powder foundation. So I just want to see how it's going to wear. Back when I was in high school, I used to wear um, just the MAC Studio Fix Press Powder. That's all I would wear when I was in high school. I used to pack that stuff on like every chance I got. But that was like my go-to powder in high school. So hopefully this will kind of give me the, some kind of coverage like that one. Because I've been really wanting to purchase that one again. But I mean if this one works out just like that one then... I won't even need to go get the MAC one, you know? Alright, so my under eyes are concealed. Now I'm going to go in with this powder. And let's just see how this performs it's a very pink it looks ugly
I don't like this color for my skin. I feel like it's too... It almost looks muddy, like, when applying it. It makes my skin look... Muddy. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it really does look muddy, like... And it has a very, very, like... Pink undertone. It's like turning pink on my skin. It's like a medium coverage. Because it did cover up some of the redness I have right here. So usually foundations when they're not full, full coverage. Usually when they're not full coverage, they 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 will like definitely not cover up my my redness. I look very pink guys I know you can't really like tell because of course the, the lighting but I don't like the way this looks I like the formula it feels really good on the skin like it's lightweight doesn't feel heavy at all but the color like the undertone it's horrible like for my skin so if you have <coughs> if you like more of that pink undertone for your skin and this you're gonna like this i don't it makes me look muddy like i don't know if you can tell but i feel like i look muddy i'm gonna go ahead and contour using this nyx palette <clears throat> i'm just finish the rest of my face because I want to do a wear test to see how it wears it does look good like as far as like coverage and the way it makes my skin look it's just this color makes my skin look muddy so we're just gonna go ahead and use it throughout the day today just to see how it wears and then I'll let you know in the In the comment not in the comment section I'll let you know in the description box how I feel about the formula like throughout the day but it's like a medium medium buildable coverage so far like the coverage is good maybe I'll try the the other shade that one looks like it might be a bit a better fit um, but for now we're just gonna use this one and then the lightest one I'll give it to my mom because I know like It'll definitely fit her. For blush, I'm going to use the KKW blush in Honey Pot. This color is so pretty. I just love the way it looks on my cheeks. For highlight, I'm just going in with this shade from Tarte. This is Stunna or Stunner. Stunner from Tarte. And this is what I'm going to use to highlight. I do like this highlight. It's so pretty. Okay, you guys. So this is what the powder foundation looks like um, after sitting for you know like 10 minutes so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wear it throughout the day and then um i will let you guys know down in the description box how i feel about it so far it looks really good on the skin like i said just this color i feel like it makes my skin look muddy but because of the pinky undertones 
I feel like they clash with my olive undertones. I don't feel like they go to, like hand in hand. So that's how I feel so far about the color. But as far as the coverage, it's a medium buildable coverage. I feel like it did do like a nice job at covering some of the red in, some of the redness that I do have on my skin. Um, again, this is the shade FSP 7.0. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will be seeing you guys in my next video.